it was Joel Katz. <laughs> the next award voted by the Academy Board is a very special one. It's for a gentleman named Charles Boren, who has never put on makeup, changed a light bulb, or been, a, been to a studio, except as a very welcome visitor. To the industry, he serves so well, his work has been indispensable. To present the award, another indispensable man, the Vice President of the AFL-CIO and President of the International Alliance of Theatrical and Stage Employees, Mr. Richard Walsh. Mr. Vaughan is a very special man in our industry. He helped the labor people negotiate the five-day week in this industry. He helped us negotiate the Health and Welfare Fund, and he helped us negotiate our fine pension plan. Inscribed on this Oscar is a Charles Esborn leader for 38 years, the industry's enlightened labor relations, an architect of the policy of non-discrimination with the respect and affection of all who work in films. Charlie, it affords me greatest amount of pleasure on behalf of all the film workers to present to you this Oscar. Thank you. I'm profoundly grateful to the Board of Governors of the Academy. This cherished award is a distinction which will forever remain indelibly in my memory. I accept it with a deep humility to have worked for and with the people of our industry has been a rare privilege. It has been an enjoyable and rewarding experience. To all my colleagues, many, many colleagues who have made this possible, my eternal thanks. <laughs>